Okay, we are now moving on to the next example where we want to prove that for any number that is for n greater than some number, in this case we are talking about some positive integer, then this should be true. So we have this example where we need to prove that the square of n is greater than 3n. So now, the condition is our n should be greater than some positive integer, in this case 4. So now, what does it mean? So in this case, we need to find out if this condition is really inside. So we may try, maybe we say, what about if n is equal to 1? So this is going to be 1 is greater than 3. So for n is equal to 1, this is not true. And what about if it's 2, then we are saying 2 squared, which is 4, and this is greater than 3 by 2, which is 6. So 4 can never be greater than 6. So for n is equal to 2, this is not true. What about if n is equal to 3? This is 3 squared, which is 9, greater than 3 by 3, 9. For n is equal to 3, and this is not true. So we are saying, for any value from 1, 2, 3, that is a positive integers, this condition which we have here cannot be satisfied. Hence, we were given this one. So it's important when you are solving. I don't need anyone to show me this, but I was just trying to help you understand that the condition has a minimum requirement. So the minimum requirement is supposed to be a 4 going upward. So what if we have our Pn? Now we are saying our n is equal to 4. So which means our P4. So we have in this case we have 4 squared is greater than 3 multiplied by a 4. This implies that we have our sin here for 4 squared greater than 4 by 3 which is 12. And for sure, sin is greater than 4. So we are saying it is true. This postulate is true for n equal to 4. So which means the condition, this condition has been satisfied. So instead of starting with 1, we are starting from 4. Now we want to generalize this. So in the first place, we assume that it is true for some other value other than 4. So we are saying, what if n is equal to k? So, and then we have n squared is greater than 3n. So if n is greater than is equal to k, then this is going to be k squared is greater than 3k. And this is a very important condition where we are going to base our argument. I'll call it star. Okay? So now from here, when we suppose that it's true for k, then we are assuming that it should also be true for another value. So we are saying for pk, then this implies for some pk plus 1. So which means the first condition, 1 satisfied, then this one should be satisfied. Where we have some square of some number is greater than 3 multiplied by this by the same number. So when we, we have p for k plus 1, where n is equal to k plus 1, then when we look at the given condition in the question where we have n squared greater than 3n, of course, where we have n squared is greater than 3n, when n is equal to k plus 1, then this is going to be k plus 1, that is n squared, and then this is going to be equal to, this is give us k plus 1, then k plus 1, and then if you check this again, this is basically equal to k squared, when you multiply, then you have plus k, that is k plus 1, then 1 by k, which is k plus, then 1 by 1, which is 1. And this is going to give you k squared plus 2k plus 1. Now, if you look at this condition, we all know that this k squared, if we take from the equation, an important equation we have here, our k squared is greater than 3k. So I'm going to need to replace this one. But the value I'm going to put there is 3k. So if I put 3k here, it will be 3k plus 2k plus 1. Now, I know for sure that the value which is here, and then if I going to take the value of k which is greater than 3k, which means this value I have here is much less. So I'm not going to continue with the inequality because the value here is always is strictly given as greater than 3k. So I'm going to have greater than or equal to, assuming that there is some inequality somewhere. Now this then. I have, of course, the condition has been given in the question where the minimum value of n is supposed to be greater than 4. 
So because what I have, our n greater than, or in this case our k should be greater than or equal to 4, then it's possible that I can have 3k plus 2. When k is equal to 4, then for the minimum value of k, we are going to have 8 plus 1. And this is equal to 3k plus, this is, sorry, this is 2, this is 4, sorry. So 2 by 4, which is 8 plus 1, and this is going to be 3k plus 9. And again, I understand very well that if this value was to be reduced further, if it's less than this value which is here, because we're saying this value is greater than this, what happens if this value is to be reduced further? So I'm going to have 3k plus 3. So meaning that this value has been reduced further. If it was less than or equal to, then the equality will definitely disappear. So it's going to be strictly less than some number. So, and this is going to give me 3. Then in brackets, when I factor out 3, it will be k plus 1. So in short, I have this expression is strictly greater than this one. So we are saying k plus 1 squared is greater than 3k plus 1. So this condition has been satisfied whenever we have n is equal to k plus 1. Of course, for a lack of space, I will just use some space here. So I'm saying, therefore, this is true. Okay, I'm saying this, mm, this is true for all values of k, in this case, for all values of n greater than or equal to 4. So this inequality, this equal inequality that you are seeing here, if you look at the appearance, we have uh, something in square greater than 3, something here. So this is almost like this one. So it means the implication we made here is also true for that, meaning that we have satisfied the minimum condition which was given in this question. So that's the proof that we have for this question.